Welcome back and today we're creating a couple of spreads for my work journal. We're going to be using my Archer and Olive B5 size journal. It's absolutely lush with 160 GSM paper. You can see here that it's much larger than the A5. To make our cover page, we're using a scrappy piece of paper and we're just using our Chiron markers to write the word August up at the top. I'm using some stickers to finish off the look and that's really it, simple and sweet. For most of the spreads in my August spread for my work journal, I'm going to use some watercolour. Only because I love how watercolour sits on the Archer and Olive 160 GSM paper. It doesn't make the paper too wet and it looks really beautiful and gives a really fun blended feel to it. I wanted to create a sunset feel to this and a little bit more tropical because it's very cold here in New Zealand at the moment. So I wanted this really fun tropical spread to create something that makes me a little bit more happy at work and make me think of tropical cocktails. This month I'm going to show you how to use the 135 method for prioritizing to-do lists. Here I'm just boxing up some squares, I'm trying to keep it as a vertical spread for this week and I've got six squares. I love the space in the B5 journal because it really gives you so much landscaping area to be able to draw as much as possible. Again, embellishing with a couple of stickers, but keeping it really minimal. This time I'm going with a horizontal box spread. I'm keeping it, again, really simple because it is my work journal. Let's finish off with a couple extra stamps and a couple extra stickers and we're good to go. finish off my month again with a really simple spread. I've tried to keep it as minimal as possible and keep myself as much note-taking space as possible. And that's it for the four weeks of August for my journal at work. As always, thank you so much for watching and please hit the subscribe button below. Feel free to follow us on Facebook, Pinterest, Instagram and obviously on YouTube.